Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching Vikings Season 2, Episode 10. And this one is called The Lord's Prayer. So this is actually the last episode of the second season, which I cannot believe. That's that's crazy to me. <laughs> my cat. Um, but man, I'm super excited to hop into this episode. Okay, friends, grab your coffee, your water, your tea, your snacks, all the things, and let's do this because I'm excited and I don't want to wait any longer. All right? Cheers, my friends. Let's go. The world waits upon him and eats from his hand. Floki is driving me crazy, you guys. Like, I used to love him. I loved his character. And now he's like, I, he's turning on Ragnar, I feel like. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I love this intro song, by the way. I love it. It's so pretty. Bye, Why is he sleeping on the dock or whatever? It's kind of weird. We have a child. She had her baby. Why did I think that was Yara Borg's wife at first? I want to drop I want to drop. That's why I was like, I was confused. So she had her baby and Floki didn't know she had her baby? It's kind of weird. Will you come back with us? Will you get to know your daughter? No. I have to stay in cut the cut. Can't I say You don't understand, Helga. You have to leave. I'm so confused. I thought that they lived in cat cat or whatever, just on the outskirts. And I'm assuming he's telling her to leave because him and King Horik are probably going to attack Ragnar, I'm assuming, or the city. So, I'm assuming that's where that's going. Uh, is that their family? I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming that's their family. <laughs> come, come, family. I want you to meet Ragnar. Hello, Brock. My friend and ally, and all your family gathered. Friend and ally? Are you sure? Are you his friend and ally? In this endeavor, I see you more than ever as an equal. Mm. For you have many sons, and as you can see, I have many daughters. Oh. I feel like Ragnar isn't buying anything he says. God, that candle smells so good. Uh, I wish I could give you guys smell-a-vision. Thing is, Floki, I'm not entirely sure I can trust you. Everyone's changing sides now. Like, I thought him and Floki were like this, and now he's like, eh, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of going to go back towards trusting Ragnar kind of thing. You are free woman. Oh, there's Mr. Bjorn. What will you do with your freedom? I will use it to choose. A husband? When I was a slave, I loved you. You were the first to treat me as if I was not a slave. But now I have choices. Wait. <laughs> so when she was a slave and she didn't think she had any other choices, she was so happy to be with Bjorn. And he treated her nicely like none of the other men did. And then now that she's free, she's like, oh, 
even though you were amazing and you're such a good guy, like, I don't want to be with you. I want to go explore. That's messed up. That's, uh, that's kind of messed up. Ethelstan. Why did you come back, priest? Nobody wants That me. is not true. You betrayed all of us. No, Floki, you never liked him. I think he's always been jealous of him, to be honest. Uh-oh, what's wrong with Ethel Stan? He better be okay. Forgive me, Floki. I know I should trust you, but I need proof. How can I prove it? Kill someone. No, someone kill someone? Who? Don't you kill Ethelstan. Don't you kill Ethelstan, Floki. Or Ragnar. Try to. I think even if Floki tried to kill Ragnar, he wouldn't make it. Is everyone getting sick or something? Okay, are they just drunk or are they getting sick? Or are they drugged or whatever? I'm worried. Take your time, twist. Maybe they were just drunk, hopefully. Get it at the stand. Hey. Floki, you weren't supposed to do that, bitch. Wait. Does that mean he wants to kill Ethelstan because he caught Ethelstan's coin? Or am I reading too much into this? I don't know. I know who I will kill. Okay. Now I'm starting to get stressed out. Don't be an idiot, Floki. Do not be an idiot. You have a daughter. You have a wife. Your actions have consequences. He's gonna poison someone, I think. I think that's what the mushrooms are. Oh God, okay. I... I have a bad feeling he's going to try to kill Ethelstan. Rollo? Will he ever walk again? He's not going to kill know. Rollo, is he? I didn't even think about Rollo, about him killing Rollo. I'll stay with him for a while. Uh oh. You get some sleep. No, I. Go get some sleep, Ziggy. Yeah, this is not good. I didn't even think about Rollo. You put me in a bed like this once, Rollo. Do you remember? He's still, I don't think he's still forgiven him for what he's done. Which, I mean, I can't blame him. Rollo. I hated Rollo in the first season. I brought you something. Oh no. Wait. Oh no, he's gonna kill Rollo. Ugh. Right? I'm in denial. I'm in denial until I actually see Rollo dead. This gift to Torsten. See? That they are from his good friend Floki. Present to Torsten. But keep the secret. What is it? Oh, it's those mushrooms? <gasps> I'm assuming those are poisonous, right? So why did he eat them? Okay, maybe they're not poisonous. I don't know. My friend Austin has been murdered. Yep. They are poisonous. I swear by all okay. the gods who if I did this would pay a hefty price. <sighs> 
That means Rolo is dead. Now I know I can trust you. I will kill them all. All. Yes, all. Ragnar. Of course, Ragnar. I knew it. Bjorn? You must find a way to kill him. I don't think he wants to kill Bjorn. He likes Bjorn. So is he gonna... I don't know. Is he gonna go through with it? Is he gonna tell Ragnar? Does nobody know that Rolo's dead? Yet? <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming he is, if he ate the mushrooms. You know I respect you. I worship you. I don't want to be worshipped. What can I do? You can fight me. Why? Oh. He's alive. I thought he had killed him. With the mushrooms. Oh no. Rilla, you need crutches, my man. Ragnar's weakness is his I was gonna say, his family. It's pretty obvious. And you must kill Ragnar's young sons. And why would she do that? What do I get in return? I will marry him. Would she really kill the children that she's kind of been taking care of just to be the queen? I want to believe that most of these people will not betray Ragnar and his family because he's been good to them. And like, what happened to fucking loyalty people? I'm going wherever they value loyalty the most. But... I don't know. The only one I know who for sure would never betray Ragnar, I could never in my wildest dreams see that happening, is Ethelstan and Bjorn. What was that? <laughs> and this, I just don't know what to make of this. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Why does she want to be beat up? <laughs> Oh, I don't I'm know. Sorry. <laughs> Someone explain this to me. Who's that? Oh, that's Floki? Was that Floki? I feel like Bjorn should have a braid like, like Ragnar. I think that would look really cool on him. So now she decided she wants to be with him after they punched each other a few times. Whatever works for you, I guess. Whatever floats your boat. That is Floki. What is he doing? Fucking creeper. Oh, right. He was told to kill Bjorn. That's just messed up if he actually tries. He's known Bjorn his whole freaking life. He's like an uncle to him. You. We must cut and kill in such a frenzy none can survive. For believe me, if even one of that family survives, then the day will come when he will rise again. I feel like that kid is the kind of kid who would kill his own father to to take his uh, position. It's the kind of vibe I get from that kid right there. I've seen you praying to your God. Will you teach me one of your prayers? Aww. So I just I love them so much. See? Ragnar, he wants to understand other cultures, other religions. He's not like... Hold on, I'm pause a minute. I don't want to talk over them. He's not like, um, you know, I saw you praying to your gods, you know, that it's treason or whatever, like our gods are the only gods and da, 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 like most of the other guys would do. He's, he's so understanding, like he wants to learn. That's the thing about Ragnar. I feel like he wants to learn. He wants to grow. He wants to know other things besides just the Viking way. And 
that's what makes him such a good that's what makes him such a good leader such a good um partner and friend and father and you know all those things so yeah i just and i love them together i love them together i really do they have a special bond i've said it before but they really have a special bond our father who art in heaven our father who art in heaven forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us don't tell me she's gonna do it siggy don't you fucking do it forever and ever amen He's like, finish the prayer. Forever and ever. <laughs> Amen. Oh, <man. laughs> oh, they're fucking funny. Is this is this episode gonna make me cry? I put mascara on today, you guys. Do not make me cry. Just don't kill the kids. Don't kill Ethelstan. Don't kill Ragnar. <laughs> don't kill Lagatha. And I think I'll be okay. And the kids include Bjorn to me. Uh oh, Rollo. Uh oh. I mean, he can still swing a sword. See? Okay, you got this, Ethelstan. You got this, buddy. Oh, there's Lagatha. Oh, she looks so cool. And pissed. Oh. She's like, bitch. <laughs> you messed with the wrong crew. <laughs> Come on, Lagatha, you got this. I believe in you. See? Good job, Lagatha. Have you been looking after you, Bjorn? Have you? Like I promised your father. I hope so, Floki. I hope you didn't betray Ragnar. I have orders from our Ragnar. Oh no, is he going to kill the kids? Oh, I didn't even freaking comment this. So obviously Ragnar knew this was coming. Because like, Lagatha was prepared. Ethelstan was prepared. That ain't Ragnar. <laughs> they were prepared. Okay, okay. Okay. So maybe Floki did not betray Ragnar after all. Maybe he was just pretending to. Right? And he was actually looking after Bjorn. That's Floki. Floki. You have betrayed the gods. He betrayed you. No. King Horik. I only betrayed you. Ah. Thank you, Foggy. I was always true to the gods. And Ragnar. I was like, what is going on with Floki? I seriously was so confused at first. If you can find it in your heart. Ah. Uh, spare my son. Thank God he he was just playing the part for Ragnar. I'm sorry, but I would not spare that kid. I'm not for killing kids, but like that kid is psychotic, I feel like. Yep, King Hork, you made a big, big, big mistake. I will say Floki played his part well, because I was, I wasn't sure at first. 
Was Siggy in on it too? <laughs> I think she was. That would just be the cherry on top. Oh, there's Uncle Stan. Hmm. I wonder if they're going to spare the sun. Oh. Shit. Well, that's a way to do it. What's Bjorn doing? Oh, they did kill all the kids. See, I don't like that. Go. I don't like that. Killing the little the baby kids. Like they they the babies could have been spared. Damn, Ragnar. He is pissed. Okay, that's a nice sword. God, can you imagine beating someone to death like with your your forehead like he did? Holy shit. Oh, Ragnar, the goat. Oh. Well, that's cool. Wait, is this like a premonition that he's having? Or is this... Or did we skip into the future? That is freaking gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hey friends, future editing Kim here. <laughs> I'm actually editing um, Vikings right now and I just realized as I was editing that I'm pretty sure Ragnar is now the king. Right? I mean, I think I missed that upon first viewing. But I'm at the end and he's sitting there with the sword and it kind of just clicked. He killed the king. And now he has the sword. So I think he might be the king. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me know if I'm wrong or right. Love you guys. Alrighty, my friends. That was the end of that episode. What an amazing episode. I mean, thank God, first of all, <laughs> Thank God I didn't cry, because as I said earlier, I put mascara on today and I was not looking forward to crying and wiping that shit off. So yeah, first of all, yay for that. But that was an amazing season finale. Um, God, I just love seeing Ragnar like taking care of business kind of thing. You know what I mean? Just taking out the trash. I love him just taking out the trash. And you would think that people would learn by now. If you would think that other Vikings would learn and understand, do not mess with Ragnar and his family. Like, you are not going to win. I don't understand it. Why does everybody think that they can try to get one over on Ragnar? Like, I feel like it's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, man. King Horik, what an idiot. What an idiot. I want to talk about Floki real quick because... I honestly, for the last couple episodes, I was like... What is going on with Floki? Like, I seriously thought... For a while there that he really was going to go with King Horik and betray Ragnar and I was like 
you know, I was, I was upset because as I said, like he's known Ragnar forever. They grew up together. Wait, actually, I don't know if they grew up together. What I meant to say was Bjorn grew up with, um, Floki. He's watched Bjorn grow up. He's watched Ragnar's children grow up. I mean, like I said, he's like an uncle to them. Like, they are family. So, I was just, I was super confused why he would suddenly turn on Ragnar. And the only thing I could really think of is that, you know, like he was saying to his wife when they were alone, you know, I, I helped Ragnar get all this power and now we're just under him and he's the Earl. So, I thought maybe for a minute he was jealous or, you know, he never liked Ethelstan, so maybe jealous of Ethelstan or, and him and Ragnar's relationship, but I just, I didn't want to believe it is the thing. I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe that Floki would not be loyal to Ragnar, especially when Ragnar had never done anything like for Floki to feel that way. So a part of me didn't want to believe it, but the other part of me actually did believe it. Like when he was talking to King Horik and then when he killed that guy with the mushrooms and I thought he killed Rollo too. I really thought he had killed Rollo for a minute there. And all the episodes leading up to this one, they were making it seem like him and Ragnar were, were in a fight, you know, or they were, they were growing apart. And <laughs> So now I find out that all that was just like a ploy to make it seem that um, Floki was on King Horik's side. Like, wow. Let's clap for Floki, everybody. Good job. Good job. Kind of fooled me, Floki. Good job. So yeah, that was that was amazing. Ethelstan and Ragnar. <laughs> are so freaking cute like as I said earlier they have one of the best relationships on the show I think to me I think it's one of the best relationships um it's a brotherly relationship it's a it's a best friend relationship they're teaching each other their different ways and they're they're both open to it to learning about the other side and again, that's what separates Ragnar from a bunch of the other Viking leaders or just other Vikings in general, um, which makes him who he is. Ragnar, Hethelstan, love their relationship. I obviously don't know what's going to happen in the future, but I could never see Ethelstan betraying Ragnar or Ragnar betraying Ethelstan. I just can't see it happening at all. And I hope I'm right because that would just devastate me. And that would absolutely devastate me if that happened. Also, let's give it up for Lagatha. Woo! <laughs> she was amazing. Oh my God. Waltzing in there like, bitch. <laughs> you picked the wrong people to mess with. Mm -mm. This is not your lucky day. The only thing that I didn't like, which I already kind of mentioned, but I'll touch on it again, is killing the killing King Horik's children, like the young children. Because they are, you know, children are innocent, is the thing. Like his older son is, I feel like he's already kind of past the age or, yeah, he's kind of past the point of redemption. Like he's old enough to know what he's doing. I mean, I, I don't blame him, right? Like obviously he's gonna be on his father's side. I don't blame him for that. I'm just saying that he's to the point where if you do keep him alive, I don't think he's ever going to forgive you or um, forget about you killing his father. And so I feel like revenge would always be on his mind. Uh, so it's kind of a risk to keep, to keep that kid alive. And plus he kind of, like I said, he seems a little unstable to me. That's just the vibe I get. I don't know. A little crazy. But also we're talking about Vikings, so I don't know. A lot of them are crazy. Anyway, I don't think Bjorn was for that either. Because did you see his face when he went in there and he saw like all the dead children? I don't think he was necessarily happy about that. And you could also tell that Lagatha was struggling with it. When um, the Viking guy told her to leave, he had orders from Ragnar. She kind of 
it looked like she was struggling to leave and I get that like she's a parent you know even though they're not your children they're still children you know they're still innocent children so that's the only thing that um, that I wasn't happy about but but I'm I understand it back in the day that was the times it was the times that's what they did yeah overall that is it I am very very excited for season three my friends um, so thank you so much for joining me. This was amazing. I feel like this was an amazing episode to end the season with. On to season three, right? Yes, I'm excited. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and do that now, my friends. I am trying to reach my goal of a thousand subscribers and only you can help me with that. So if you enjoyed the content, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. It really, really does mean a lot to me uh, for you to support me in that way and to help me grow my channel and my community. And plus, it's free for one, and you'll never miss a post from me. You'll never miss a post. You'll get updated on any polls that I put in the community. Um, there you go. It's fun. Like I said, we have a fun time here. So please join us. Yeah, other than that, I think that's it, my friends. So have a great rest of your day or evening. And I will hopefully see you for season three. I am very excited. Bye, friends. <laughs>